Joel Philp talks a little bit more about the wildlife scene here. The beautiful bird species of Kangaroo Island play a vital role in keeping the island's ecosystem in balance. Now they need our help. Supporting the environment can be as simple as cleaning up rubbish. Oh, he's a good boy. Very responsible boy. Yay, good job. Yeah, give him a clap. You did a good job. Or as advanced as building a home for birds in your backyard. Since the KI bushfires, nest boxes are being used to stave off extinction of one special species of bird on the island, the local subspecies of the glossy black cockatoo. I'm heading along with the organisation Landscapes Kangaroo Island as they try to track down a young glossy black nestling using a special camera tool to peek inside the nests. So that's your camera on a little wire? Yeah. And that's just a pole that'll go up to about 14 metres all up. There are only around 377 of these birds alive today. Yeah, that's all we've got left in the world. So, um, yeah, it's really important to protect them. And um, moving forward after the fires, we're looking at all the best ways of doing so. The KI landscape may be recovering well from the fires, but tree hollows take around 150 years to form on trees meaning many bird species struggle to find natural safe havens to rear young. Seeds from the shio tree are the only source of food for these birds, and 54% of their feeding habitat was lost in the fires. OK, here we go, moment of truth. Oh, hey, look. Ah, oh, look. There we go. Glossy nestling in there. Yeah, that's what he's is looking yeah. up at us, isn't he? So that looks like a about a three or four week old nestling in there, which yeah. um, you can see the, the feathers are just starting to come back out through now. And yeah, it's starting to lose a little bit of the down around the face. And so this is one of about 400 birds in the world. Yeah, that's a, it's a pretty uh, privileged thing that we get to see here. So yeah, it's a, it's a really important thing to preserve these little guys. This bird is too young to be tagged, but tagging them is the best way to monitor the species, and that means these field workers need to get much closer. Yep. So right now you are climbing up towards a very old hollow in one of these trees in which there is probably a juvenile age bird inside, and this one is old enough to be tagged, is that right? Yeah, so we'll ban this one and uh, we'll climb up and put it into a pillowcase, into a bag, and then we'll lower the bird back down to the ground where we can do the banding and uh, get a few measurements as well. So you can see, um, yeah, all the feathers are starting to come through. Underneath the shoulder, it's quite a yellow and um, a little bit of orange coloration, which gives us a good indication that it's a female. Finally, a band is put on her leg which will help the researchers know if she can manage to survive the first year of her life. So about half of the birds will make it through to this banding stage, and there's about half of the bands, the birds that we actually banned, will survive their first year. Bird enthusiasts hope to find this glossy black subspecies thriving on the mainland one day. Two colonies would mean better odds of survival.